and welcome to EB Kids. In this clip, we are going to be exploring the yogic three-part breath. This clip is designed for somebody who has already had teacher time and doing some yoga in a class somewhere where they may have already experienced the three-part breath. Or for those who have worked their way through stage one and two and now feel comfortable with their breath and how it can work its way through the body. If you are somebody who suffers from asthma, any heart conditions or any breathing conditions, please proceed with caution. And remember that it, you are in charge of what happens in your session. You can stop at any point should anything begin to feel uncomfortable. And for everybody, please remember that breathing should never ever be forced and should never ever hurt. If at any point you feel the need to stop, just stop. It's important to understand that the three-part yogic breath is just one breath. Although we break it down into the stages so that you can follow and understand where you are directing the air into the lungs, and we break that down by calling it the abdominal belly and the chest and the upper chest or collarbones, it's still one smooth breath. There is no halting or stopping. And this is why I haven't done a practice where I am talking you through it, because it is very important that you follow at the rate of your own breath. And that slowly, over time, you may find that your breath lengthens and deepens. But it's very important that you listen to your own body and your own breath. Your breath is intelligent and it knows what your body is in need of. There should at no point be any holding or waiting or pushing in terms of the breath. It should just be able to flow naturally. Generally, breathing exercises need to be done in and out through the nose. However, if this is something you are struggling with or you have a cold, clearly you can use your mouth. It is not a restrictive practice. Make sure you've set aside a little amount of time for you to be able to focus and work with your breath. Take the time now to settle yourself into a comfortable seated position, making sure that you are warm and comfortable. Equally, this could be a lying down position, whichever feels best for you. Once you are settled and ready, first of all, simply draw your attention to your normal rate of breathing. Change nothing, but just draw the attention inwards to notice. Once you have inhaled and exhaled a number of times and you feel you are prepared, you can begin your three part yogic breathing. And so as one final reminder, I will talk you through the process and then let you continue with the practice on your own. On the inhalation, you will draw the air down and into what we call the belly. You will notice that your belly rises. It will begin to expand and move into the chest and the chest will move up and outwards. And you'll feel the lungs expand. And finally, at the very top of your breath, you will notice that the upper areas up into the clavicles, up into your collarbone, will rise. On the exhalation, the collarbones drop, the chest will exhale, lower, contract, and finally, the belly will empty. At the end of the breath, there is a brief pause where you notice that all the air has been expelled and then the fresh, clean breath comes in once more. And the whole pattern will then repeat. Practice this 
for five to 10 breaths. And over time, you will be able to build on that, perhaps building up to five and maybe then eventually 10 minutes. However you choose to do it, do it with care and listening to yourself. I hope that this practice becomes a useful and meaningful part of your life. It certainly has in mine. And I hope that you have enjoyed these sessions. Take care. Bye from Weeby Kids.